Today I'm going to work on the way you talk JavaScript project from Code Academy. Number one, we're going to create a variable named input that is equals to any phrase you would like. So we're going to do const input equals turpentine and turtles. Number one is done. Number two, using lowercase vowels, we're going to create an array named vowels. This array will not be updated, so be sure to choose the appropriate declaration keyword. So for number two, we're going to do const because we don't need to change this later. So instead of variable, we're going to do const vowels equals to a e i o u. Number three, we're going to create a variable named result array and set it equal to an empty array. Number four, we're going to create a loop to iterate through each letter of the input variable text. And later, we'll compare each letter with our vowel array. So we're going to create our for loop for let input index equal zero, input index, input dot length, input index plus plus. And for number five, we're going to console log input index is input index. And this counts the number of character in the input string. Let's comment that out and go to number six. So for number six, we're going to create the for loop for vowel index inside the input index we just created previously. Number seven, we're going to console.log vowel index and see if it's working. Console.log vowel index is vowel index. Let's save our work and it's working. As you can see, we have five elements and here it goes from zero to four. So that is correct. Number eight, inside the second for loop, write a code block that compares the input letter to every letter in the vowels array and console log to check your work. So we're going to write if input input index equals vowels, vowels index, console log input input index. Let's save and now we get the vowels. So it is working. So now as you can see, it's comparing each letter of the input with the vowels. Number nine, we're going to comment that out and add the letters to the results array. Result array dot push input input index. Number 10, whales double their e's and their u's in their language. Write an if statement that checks if each letter in the input strings is equals to e. If so, use the dot push method to add input i to the result array. We need to do that before the inner for loop. There it is, if input input index equals e, result array push input index and we're going to do the same thing for the vowel u for number 11. There it is. Number 12 at the bottom of the program log the result array to the console. Console.log result array and now we have the vowels and the u's and the e's are double. Number 13 currently result array outputs an array of characters and we want to produce a proper whale language. In order to do that, we're going to capitalize the array elements. We're going to declare a variable result string that joins our result array into a single string and capitalizes all of its letters. Let's comment this out. And there it is, const result string result array join to uppercase. And number 14, we're going to console log result string and there we have the sentence turpentine and turtles in whale language. 